Hey everybody, it's Will. We're doing an update on our worm bins. That's right, I said bins. I multiplied it. But um, I tried to do a video of, uh, like about two weeks ago when I was multiplying it because this bin was loaded with eggs. But um, the video quality came out very, very bad. So what we're doing right now is they've been in here for about a month. What I'm going to show you, you're probably not going to see any worms because I'm flashing this light in here. But there's not much food left over here. There's just little scraps of fibrous material and... That's about it, little bits of banana. Um, so what we fed them over the course of this month, crushed eggshells, egg asparagus, which you see this fiber here left of the asparagus. Um, so we fed, we fed them asparagus, we fed them oyster mushrooms, which they completely devoured as, as the oyster mushrooms were myceliating into this coir that they're living in. Um, so they ate these oyster mushrooms, art, uh, my, um, asparagus and two banana peels and so we have this rich rich layer of worm castings that's that's over here now um, if I dig in here semi deep we'll find some eggs as well as throughout the whole bin and on the side that didn't have any food there's eggs so I'm really happy about that and what we're doing today See, they've even been eating this paper. It's starting to get all shredded up. So what we're doing today is introducing a new food source on the other side of their bin. So what this will do is encourage all the worms because, here, I can dig my hand under there. Like you saw those worms over there, but if I dig my hand over here, there's not many worms. Um, there's just a few worms and a few worm eggs. So what we're doing right now is we're putting a new food source on the entire other side of the bin. The, uh, I've never put food over here before, so what I'm hoping is it'll induce a migration and the mass amount of worms that are living on this half of the bin will start coming over here so I can comp so I can collect the compost that they've created and use it and then I'll put more cocoa on the other side so then it can add as an uh, act as another place for them to lay their eggs again. So um, what we have going on over here is we just have a bunch of shredded paper and underneath there's cocoa. And then on this side, looks like they're almost done eating too. We had a few banana peels. Um, you see all those worms in there? They're just eating banana peels and, sh and shredded paper. Um, but yeah, it looks like they, oh, whoa, look at that. Yeah, they got some more food in there. They're good for a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and close that one back on up. And this one, the way that we set this one up, is that there's holes at this bottom uh, over here. There's holes over here. So if any liquid comes out, we can just collect it because it does tend to get moist. And as we step our bins up and get bigger and bigger, more moisture will start to build up. So we're just trying to work with designs that will be able to collect the compost tea that's full of active microorganisms. That's the one thing I love about worms is that they produce active beneficial microorganisms that, li that live on their castings, which is their poop. And the active microorganisms are, are uh, bacteria that actually are feeding off of the worm poop. So it's just very, very beneficial to give to your plants because plants can only very uh, plants can only consume base elements, nutrients, and that kind of stuff. I mean, they can consume heavy metals, but that will get locked up inside of their cell walls because they don't know how to they don't know how to digest them just like we do because they're not meant to be consuming. So um, the the Microbacteria, and this is like what we're doing with the Bokashi effect of microorganisms, they eat organic material like waste, like poop, or other organic material, and they poop it out in more bioavailable forms for the plants to absorb. So that's one of the reasons why we love worms so much. Um, another reason is because we can just get rid of these, this food without producing any waste and get a beneficial product from it. See, all this food last year I would have just thrown in the trash can. But now, I'm putting it in this bin, and I'm getting worm castings, which I would have paid for some sort of nutrient for my indoor plants, but now I don't have to. And we'll just keep multiplying that out until we have a whole basement full of bins. If you have any questions or comments, throw that down. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Share on Facebook, Twitter, and any vermicomposting blogs that you're interested in. Um, this has been an Apex Grower video. Thanks for watching.